says that this is the most extraordinary, the most unforeseen, and the happiest calculation of his life. This is Pierre Fermat. By day, he was a judge, but at night, he'd come home and hang out with his wife and kids and then do what he really loved the most, which was work on math for fun. He mostly worked in pure math, but at one point, he got interested in the question of why does light obey this principle of refraction? And he thought maybe Hero of Alexandria was on the right track, but it's not distance that is being minimized, but rather time. But anyway, years go by, he gets interested in it five years later and tries to solve it, and then he does solve it, and he shows that Snell's law actually pops out as the minimizing path for light, you know, under these conditions of moving from one medium with one speed of light to another with another. And that constant n? Well, that's just equal to the speed of light in the first medium divided by the speed of light in the second medium, which allows us to rewrite Snell's law like this. He says this thing, I just want to read you a little quote because I love it. He says that this is the most extraordinary, the most unforeseen, and the happiest calculation of his life. See, it's good to do physics. It's the first time, as far as I know, that anyone shows that nature obeys an optimization principle that nature does the best possible thing. In this case, that light takes the shortest possible time.